Welcome. Today we're introducing Vishay's 196 HVC AnyCap Supercapacitor. The 196 HVC is available with capacitance of 4 farad, 15 farad, and 90 farad in different voltage ratings. The headquarters for Vishay's aluminum capacitors and electrical double layer supercapacitors was founded in 1962 and is located in Klagenfurt, Austria. Our production facility is located in a beautiful area in the south of Carinthia, Austria, surrounded by warm lakes and mountains up to 3,700 meters tall. The 196 HVC AnyCap is not just a capacitor. It's a hybrid energy storage capacitor with more capacitance, more power, and more energy in less space than an EDLC. 196 HVC products utilize electrostatic and electrochemical technology. This is possible because the product uses special electrodes in one housing. How does the 196 HVC self-discharge compared to other supercapacitors? The self-discharge for EDLC products is very high. Within four to six weeks, the product is completely discharged. Products in the 196 HVC series have a very low discharge characteristic, only 2% to 3% per month. This is necessary for several applications, such as real-time clocks. How is the voltage, current, and capacitance for the 196 HVC affected by a series connection? The total voltage will be added from each capacitor. U1 plus U2 plus UN will be the total voltage. The current is equal for each capacitor. The capacitance will not be reduced in a serial connection. It is the same behavior as for batteries as the result of devices electrochemical technology. With a series connection, you can get a backup system with a high voltage level. In a parallel connection, the 196 HVC voltage is equal for each capacitor. The current of each capacitor will be added together, like I1 plus I2 plus IN. The total capacitance is C1 plus C2 plus CN. With a parallel connection, you can get a very large capacitor bank. Cell balancing is necessary in a serial connection for an EDLC due to small changes in the internal resistance of each capacitor. Without cell balancing, the devices will soon fail. As we've seen, cell balancing is not necessary for the 196 HVC due to its unique electrochemical systems within. Battery cells that are connected together in series also don't require cell balancing. The 196 HVC is not resistant to asymmetry but is less sensitive to it. In other words, 196 HVC AnyCap can handle the asymmetry much better than an EDLC. For further product information, please send your request directly to Gerald Tatchell or visit our webpage at www.vishay.com. Thank you very much for watching this video on the 196 HVC.